Steven Wunker, Jobs to be Done, A Roadmap for Customer-Centered Innovation. Discover a powerful approach to creating products and services that consumers will adore, the Jobs Roadmap. Guided by the revolutionary concept of a jobs to be done, this approach serves as a comprehensive tool for understanding how to satisfy customers' needs by focusing on the tasks they want to accomplish in their lives. Delve into this summary of the book, Jobs to be Done, a Roadmap for Customer-Centered Innovation, by Stephen Wunker and learn how successful companies uncover their customers' motivations and align their offerings to address those tasks. Explore the importance of innovation and customer insights in making a roadmap for success. Developing Profitable Offerings Companies can use the Jobs Roadmap to develop profitable and popular new products slash services by understanding the tasks people must get accomplished in their lives. The Jobs to be Done approach combines marketing data with consumer behavior to create commercial insights that help satisfy the right needs and alleviate the right pain points. Profoundly, understanding the jobs consumers must accomplish is more important than the products or services they purchase. By focusing on the tasks customers want to accomplish, companies can create new offerings that are profitable, popular, and implementable. Understanding Customer Satisfaction Customers seek satisfaction in accomplishing a job, not just a product. According to Peter Drucker, companies cannot sell satisfaction, but provide a means to gain it. Effective innovation requires understanding the right people and ways to make a better product that satisfies their needs. Successful companies invest in expert research to comprehend the behavior of customers based on their job requirements, exemplified by Procter & Gamble, Dell, General Motors, and Microsoft, who have ethnography experts and anthropologists dedicated to studying their customers. The Jobs to be Done Approach to Innovation The Jobs to be Done framework is a different approach to product innovation, deviating from traditional brainstorming sessions that lead to usual, unremarkable ideas. This framework seeks to focus innovators on the right questions to develop solutions that speak to the needs of their customers. According to the book, traditional brainstorming sessions that do not seek to focus systematically on insights about the consumers almost never yield notable end quo, breakthrough innovations, end quo. Instead, such sessions usually involve available company information, current events, and the likes and dislikes of primary stakeholders. Unfortunately, this kind of approach leads to limits in breakthrough innovations and several undesirable outcomes. For instance, of every 100 new products, only one covers its costs of development with more than half not meeting company expectations. The book, therefore, argues that you have to get endless quo, the endless quo, how endless quo, of innovations right endless quo, if you ever hope to get the endless quo, what endless quo, right. Job Strategy for Customer Insight Discover how to enhance your jobs to be done strategy by shaping it around customer insight. By creating a jobs roadmap and keeping track of crucial insight in a jobs atlas, you can maximize success. The atlas contains three vital components, identifying and prioritizing customer jobs, understanding customer criteria for success and obstacles, and generating a roadmap to succeed over the competition. With this approach, you can create a more effective and customer-focused strategy to fulfill their needs and rise in the industry. Understanding Job Drivers Companies should analyze their customers' job drivers to understand how they use products and predict how they will react to new ones. Job drivers derive from attitudes, background, and circumstances, and help to segment customers with different needs. The consumer electronics giant Best Buy used job drivers to develop two consumer personas and redesign its stores to serve them. In doing so, it recognized that different customers have different needs, and by meeting those needs, Best Buy could satisfy current customers and attract new ones. Traditional customer research shouldn't meld demographics and attitudes with functional needs because each plays a different role. Instead, Companies should establish clear causal mechanisms that move consumers from job drivers to jobs to specific purchase and usage behaviors. Attempting to satisfy too many jobs leads to expensive and complicated products that are one-size-fits-none. Ultimately, 
getting the how of innovation right will determine the quality of solutions that organizations ultimately produce. Revolutionizing Humanitarian Aid Plumpy Nut, a nutritious peanut butter revolutionizing aid. The Plumpy Nut peanut compound demonstrates the effectiveness of using the jobs-to-be-done approach in providing life-saving nutrition to impoverished individuals in developing nations. Pediatric nutritionist André Briand had been looking for a way to feed impoverished people for years. However, the fortified milk product, F-100, provided by humanitarian agencies required clean water, heating, and spoiled quickly, making it difficult for people to use. To solve this problem, Briand created a nutritious chocolate bar but was unsuccessful due to its unsuitability in hot climates. After being inspired while watching his children eat hazelnut and chocolate spread, Brienne developed Plumpy Nut, a peanut butter tasting nutritional paste that is easy to consume in any condition. Plumpy Nut meets all the important dietary requirements for healthy food staples for impoverished people as it's familiar, requires no preparation, is portable, and has a two-year shelf life. It has successfully fed hundreds of thousands of children in countries with a success rate estimated between 90% and 95%. Plumpy Nut's success lies in its ability to help desperately poor people get their most important job done, staying alive. The perfect illustration of the jobs-to-be-done approach, it revolutionized how aid is provided to impoverished individuals in developing nations. Affordable Interior Design for Everyone New York-based startup Decor Aid democratizes interior design services, catering to regular people's needs. To achieve this, the company partnered with furniture companies to offer affordable packages. Decor Aid's proprietary technology also enhanced traditional interior design practices, significantly reducing their costs. By catering to people who had previously decorated their homes themselves, the company's innovative approach using a jobs-to-be-done perspective won substantial profits and led to the expansion of newer markets. Serving Complex Stakeholders To effectively serve multiple stakeholders, companies must create a process map that considers the perspectives of individual stakeholders. This map should include approaches and pain points at each point of the purchasing process. Innovation is crucial to eliminating these pain points, and quantitative research must be implemented to identify them accurately. The process map helps companies determine if their strategies are working or if they need to make changes. In serving multiple stakeholders, understanding consumer purchasing decisions can be challenging. Companies must appeal to family members or housemates with differing priorities regarding shopping, meal preparation, and cleanup. Additionally, Firms with multiple levels of approval require an in-depth process map covering individual stakeholders' perspectives. This map should illustrate each step of the purchasing decision, including when the customer decides to buy or gives up. The process map should identify pain points, areas where customers face frustration, boredom, or inefficiency, related to each purchasing step. A company's objective should be to eliminate these pain points through innovation. To do so, quantitative research must be conducted to identify the most potent pain points that will motivate buyers to change their behavior. An effective process map helps companies determine if strategies are effective or if they require adjustments. By addressing pain points, companies can effectively serve complex stakeholders. Jobs to be done pricing Base your product or service price on how well it enables customers to perform the necessary job instead of relying on competitor-based pricing. Using jobs-to-be-done approach reveals untapped demand and widens your potential market size, enabling accurate profit potential estimation and effective opportunity prioritization. Design for customers' needs Successful companies use jobs-to-be-done approach to understand their clients' needs and provide tailor-made products slash services that meet their preferences. The approach involves investigating success criteria and recommending suitable design elements to enhance the product's efficiency. For example, when Stephen Wonker helped a cell phone firm develop a next-gen product, he had to examine the trade-offs between size, durability, battery life, and screen resolution that customers might want. Salespeople shouldn't just focus on selling but also helping clients use the product to satisfy their needs. In essence, 
companies that embrace jobs to be done understand their customers' job demands and create products to meet them. In Jobs to be Done, author Steven Wunker takes you through the jobs roadmap, showing you how to revolutionize your customers' experience by understanding the tasks they need to accomplish in their lives. Developing an understanding of your customers' job drivers, pain points, and specific success criteria will help you create popular, implementable solutions that yield profitable outcomes. Remember the importance of a value-based pricing model to optimize the price you charge for your products or services, and keep track of customer insights using a jobs atlas. By implementing the jobs to be done approach in your product planning, design, and marketing, you will empower your business to satisfy customers' needs and stand out among competitors.